Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents Truthfully XL. And today we're going to be talking about our favorite motivational speaker here on New November, uh, respectfully, Justin. A lot of you know him from Instagram. Mostly I know him from uh, Twitter. So he he, he, got, he, got, he got, a couple, got a couple more bangers, a couple more bangers I want to put on y'all today, man. And a couple things I wanted, I wanted to do this one from a lady's perspective. I wanted to do this one. Cause I, usually I get quotes and a lot of these quotes, uh, apply to the men, you know what I mean? Apply to more men and more of a, a male based audience. So I wanted to, I wanted to dip into what the ladies may be thinking, you know? So I grabbed a couple or, or I got, uh, my secretary to grab a couple. And, um, so we're going to get right into it. First blocked a nigga then smiled when I saw no caller ID. I need to grow up. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, you do. In fact, you do need to grow up. There's nothing funny about that shit at all. If a nigga, all right, if a nigga is going through the motions and the, uh, the, uh, look, look, if he's going to go through all the trouble to go to get another number to call you after you done blocked him, that means he still cares. And yes, I see, I see why you would smile, but yes, you do need to grow up because damn, I mean, damn. What does a nigga got to do? What does a nigga got to... It's getting too personal. All right, um, on to number two. Stop going back to those toxic situations just because you're horny. Yep, 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 yep. Bingo, you can't do that. She got she got us there, fellas. They got they got us there. We, you, can't, you can't do that. You just can't do it, man. You can't do it. If your lady, is she on a period? Is she acting up? Is she doing whatever, whatever, whatever? Don't do it. it was, you broke, if you've broken up with your female or whatever, then move on. Move on and get another female. Don't go back to something toxic because it's only going to make more toxic problems. And heaven forbid you and your lady get back together. And now this crazy toxic goddamn. A god damn. All right, moving on to number three. We're going to skip right on through these because you know what I'm saying? These hitting a little close to home. These hitting right where it hurts. And I don't really need to, need to re-experience any of those situations in front of you good people. Um, <clears throat> may he accidentally say my name when talking to other females. What is, what is this like a prayer? I don't, I'm not, I'm a little, what, is this a prayer? Does that what women pray? You pray that to God? That's what you talk to God about? I don't, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really there for many people's intimate talks to the Lord. But if, since you sharing, you, you don't ask for world peace. You don't ask to stop world hunger. You don't ask for none of that good shit. You over here talking to God, our Lord and Savior, about <sighs> regardless of what you're talking to him about, I believe that all prayers are good prayers as long as you got your heart into it, boo-boo, as long as you got your heart into it. But I will say that he will say your name if he's thinking about you. If you're on his mind, he will say your name. It's going to be hard for him not to. He's going to, it's always going to come up. If he's thinking about you, like he's thinking about the newest Jordans or the newest video game, whatever these niggas think about. If he's thinking about you like that, your name going to pop up, sweetheart. Don't worry. You don't got to waste nobody's time with that, that craziness. You, you all right. Moving on to number five. Are we on number five, number four? Now we're on number four. No bitch intimidates me because I know I suck dick like, well, hold on, wait, wait. No bitch intimidates me because I know she don't suck dick like I do. Okay, I gotta make sure I read that right. Um, what? Okay, so what you so what you're telling me is in your mind, how would you? How do you know that though? Like, it, what, what about her? So if you see if it's just straight up, you just say, nah, I know she don't suck dick better than me. I mean, what makes you, or do you just know you the throat baby? You just know you that, you know you the throat baby or, or, or what? What is it that makes you feel like nobody got the, got the, I mean, hey, and maybe you right. Maybe you right. And you, you just the dick sucking queen, but I'm sure that all females in their own rightful way feel that way. It's like all niggas feel like they beat it up good. I feel like that's a that's more of a personal opinion more than a actual fact. But I mean, if that's the way females think, then that's the way females think, and I have no problem with you thinking that, sweetheart. I mean, hey, whatever helps you sleep at night, you know. Number five, arguing with me will make arguing with me your ass. You arguing with me, your ass be mad for a whole month. I talk that big boy shit. Um, 
I've had, I have definitely, I'm, I'm in a relationship right now with a female who talks big boy shit and, and, and it, it will hurt your feelings. And she, and you know what? I'm not even going to get personal with mine, but let me tell you, if a female knows what to say to, uh, hurt you and you know, she knows what to say to hurt you fellas. Don't let it, don't let it show. Just be like, whatever, man. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? If you got a little gut or something, and she be like, you fat ass nigga, just, you know what, let that shit roll off. Let that shit roll off like 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 water of a duck. I'm not saying I'm a fat ass nigga, don't get twisted, I'm just, that's an example, you know what I mean? But, yeah, don't even, don't even entertain all that. See, females know, just like men know what to say, but they won't, see, the men, we know we can't take it a certain place, because you'll talk about it for a years if i say certain stuff that i could say you know what i mean but females know that they could say whatever they want and be like i was angry let me suck your dick you know what i'm saying we can't just eat pussy and it's all good you know what i mean you know how much pussy we gotta eat for something to be all good nigga damn you motherfucking turn into a fish you be drowning uh moving on to number six this is my final one y'all niggas love having side bitches till you get a side nigga now he heart now now he hurt and you a hoe. Um, yeah, yep, absolutely. Got that right. Got that damn right. See, with men, we we don't value the side bitches as much as women value their side niggas. Women be asking their side niggas for things like like uh, clothes, shoes, the perfume, food, anything, any of that shit. That's not it. That nigga should not be doing none of that shit. Anything that could that I could be like, where did this come from? And you gotta start telling lies. See, that's no, 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 hell no. See, side bitches, they here for the night. They up out in the morning and they get gone. We ain't asking that hoe for shit. We asking her to stop calling our phone. That's what we asking before we get caught up. We ain't no baby. Y'all take this side nigga shit to the motherfucking extreme and all that. And if I could say so myself, y'all don't need to be having no side niggas for real, for real. Because see. Y'all are mature enough. Mm-hmm. We're going to have this talk today. Women are mature enough to understand what they got in the man and that they need to, like so most of us niggas, we need to be groomed to the liking of the a particular woman that we want to be with for the rest of our life. No nigga just goes into a marriage and knows all the shit that he's supposed to do the right way. Not saying we need to be fucking up on a consistency, but I'm saying sometimes you need to, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, have a little more patience with a motherfucker. Now you, on the other hand, you need to be active right from the jump because you know, now you know, now you, hey, hey, all right? Now with that being said, man, it's been another, um, tell it like it is, man. And I mean, truthfully, the XL, man, see, you got me, y'all got me fucked.